Today, we are creating the solar system from nothing. <laughs> like trying to realistically do it with like, you know, the inner, the planetary, what's it called? The protoplanetary disk. And we're gonna try to realistically create every single planet in the solar system. Let's go. Okay, so we're here in a random spot in space. So we're gonna start by creating the sun. How do we do that, you might ask? I have no idea. Okay, so how are we gonna realistically create a star? What's a star made out of? A bunch of gas? Can I just shoot a bunch of hydrogen? Oh, okay, so here's, this is where I'm trying to create the sun. Go! Objects a second, more, spread, zero. Maybe this makes a star? Okay, so we just spawned a ton of hydrogen. Let's see if those will like crash into each other or if anything's even gonna happen to see if those will turn into the sun. Okay, it's like been thousands of years and they just sit there? That failed. Okay, option two, crash a bunch of gas giants into each other. Okay, there's a random gas giant. Random, random. Oh yeah, crash them all. Okay, this is, we need to make a star. That's what we're trying to do. Come on. Okay, let's wait for all those to crash. Yes. Okay, a lot of like things are flying everywhere. Launch them into this. This is our, <laughs> the host. Okay, so we're just gonna launch gas giants into this over and over until it turns into a star, maybe, if it does. <gasps> oh, okay, it worked. Okay, we have a star. Um, I mean, this is not that realistic, but I don't really know what else to do. Okay, how big is the star? Okay, I'm clearing all of those for now. It's about 10% the size of our sun, so we're gonna need, we're in, we need some more. Go launch more oh look at all the ripples on one side there's none over here and they're all over here because this this is where i'm launching them all what are we at now 0.953 okay we're so close what are we at now oh we went too much 1.05 that's okay we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it at 1.05 suns okay we're naming it the sun in all caps now we just have to wait for it to cool down so let's speed up time really fast until it's like yellow beautiful oh my gosh okay that actually worked pretty well so now we have the sun the first part of our system that was harder than i thought it would be okay so now that we have the sun here let's turn on um okay so how are we gonna do the planets i'm gonna try adding rings but then make the rings really thick and maybe they'll clump together and make planets so if we go ring but then adjust and instead of particles we want bodies so we'll go 200 bodies total mass oh probably a lot i mean if we want planets out of this, how many Earths? 16 Earths uh, worth of particles there. Yeah, that should that should be good. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know. Outer radius, we probably want like one AU away. So this will stretch from the sun to Earth's distance away. Let's try it. Did anything happen? Oh, oh wait, wait, look, I see one. <gasps> wait, is that them all the way out here? Why are they so far? Those are light years away. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, outer radius, it went to galaxy? What? We want one AU. Okay, try now. Okay, that's looking better, but why is it so tilted? We want it on the same plane as the solar system, what it's gonna be. Plane alignment universe. There we go, okay. If we had enough of these, maybe we can turn them into planets. We're, the game's getting laggy. So Earth technically would be right here on the edge of all these. Expand from center, what is this gonna do? Okay, now we're sending rings going out so hopefully we can get some collisions here the problem is space is just so big that i don't think any of them will collide and i don't think my computer is beefy enough to handle enough where it would collide that's our protoplanetary disk so let's just add let's add an object in this okay i know our frame rate's like zero but i'm gonna add a planet right here in our zero frame rate environment oh my gosh here it is it already looks kind of like earth okay i don't think this is gonna work i the problem is there's just we would have to simulate too many particles. Oh my gosh, did the game just crash? Oh, okay. <laughs> We'd have to simulate too many particles. Universe Sandbox can't run that many. Not, no computer could run it that fast. Maybe like a NASA computer. But instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this planet that here, we'll just say it developed in the protoplanetary disk. But now this is gonna be our Earth, our Earth-like planet. So instead of just changing all of these settings, we're gonna try to do it by collisions so i think it needs a little more mass what is its mass at 26 percent of the earth so let's throw some moons into it to try to give it some more mass oh okay we want it to spin but not spin too fast is that a good spin maybe <laughs> there's so many particles okay we're gonna clear those what's its mass at now 33 percent we're gonna need it bigger so many oh 
Oh, we're so close. 0.957. Wait, let's wait. I think a lot of this stuff is crashing back into it. So maybe it'll go a little. Maybe we need like one more collision. We'll do two more. Yeah, 0.98. So it's like 98% the mass. And the radius is exactly the same. That's perfect. The radius is going up a little bit. Okay, we're going to speed up time and see how Earth handles all of this. Okay, so this is like our proto-Earth. So Earth is being developed here and it's cooling down. And how is it looking so far? Oh, we could totally work with this. Okay, 98.5% the same mass as Earth. That's okay. We're going to name it Earth. Okay, so I can tell it does have an atmosphere. Unfortunately, in Universe Sandbox right now, there's no way to add or remove atmosphere by collision. So we are going to have to adjust the atmosphere in its settings. But that's like one of the only things I want to try to do in its settings. So we're going to make the, ma uh, the atmosphere mass about the same as Earth. And then what's our pressure like? Pretty close. 93% Earth's pressure. So that's perfect, actually. And our clouds are looking good. For now, I'm going to turn off atmosphere and clouds while we do some um, planetscaping on the surface. So we're going to cover the whole surface in water and then kind of draw out the continents. Okay, I don't know. Okay, if this is our plane of the solar system. Okay, so we're going to have like North America right here. Uh, this, these shapes are not going to be good. I'm warning you right now. Okay, North America. We, you know, you got like Florida out there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Texas comes down here. And then we got Mexico, which is going to be all the way down here. That looks like a seahorse. And then South America, um, you know, just pretend, pretend, you know, North America, South America. OK, and then we got like Europe here going over into Asia and then Africa is going to be down here. And then this is where Russia will end about right here. OK, Europe. Oh, my gosh. OK, North America. And they're a little close, but this is um, OK. Africa's got to be down here. Uh oh, OK, so this is North America, South America. And then we have Europe, Asia, and Africa. Oh, wait, fill this in. Uh, this is probably the best recreation of Earth to ever be created by anyone. We are going to need the poles. Let's add ice. Okay, so the North Pole up here, you know, where Santa lives. And then we need Antarctica, which is going to be pretty big. Okay, here's my recreation of Earth. Oh, look, see, look at the map. You can tell exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we need a, a little more green, you know. Oh, that's looking better contrast up a little bit maybe the green a little lighter i don't know what that is um that's greenland i forgot about greenland um okay so there is earth and then <laughs> doesn't that look so good okay how's our life likelihood 56 percent um let's see what's wrong with it it's rotating too fast spin it not as fast we just want you to spin oh uh oh please please relax with the spinning Okay, what's our rotational period now? 1.07 days, perfect. Okay, what does that put our 66%? I'll take it for recreating the Earth. 66% chance of life on our Earth 2.0. Beautiful. Okay, oh my goodness, the orbit is highly elliptical, probably because of all the things we threw at it. Okay, now we need to add the moon, I think. So let's like throw an asteroid and see if it just gets captured. Try to capture an asteroid, I think. Um, well, that ain't good, is it? It's going to crash into the Earth. Oh! Uh, Oh, it's okay. It's good for the developing life. Okay, so if this is going to be the moon, we need to make this a little bigger. Oh, that's working now. So you can see the, the mass is now going up. Looks like a deformed smiley face. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful. Oh, I did it right at 1.00. Okay, so that is now the same mass as the moon. That is way closer. The Earth, I just realized, is spinning. Its day cycle is not normal. It's spinning like this. Is it cheating to just add the moon's map to it? Probably. I'm going to do it anyways. And then do our, uh, if we do base color, source from map, and then do our map as the moon. Oh my gosh, look, it looks just like the moon. How did that happen? Okay, and then if I do control D, all of these should be gone. I kind of like them though. It's like, it adds, it adds, really adds to the system, I think. Okay, here's Earth 2.0. I think let's try to do Mars next. Okay, so for Mars, we're starting with a random rocky planet um, because, I mean, the protoplanetary disk didn't work out, but we're just going to say that it did, and then it created this, whatever this is, and then we got to deal with this. Okay, so it has water, which, I mean, old Mars could have had water, so we're, we're, in, a, we're in a good spot to get rid of the water. How do, how do we get rid of the water? Oh, I know how. We go planetscaping, we go water, and then we go remove water. Oh, yeah. See, we're draining it. Okay. Drain all the water. All the ice, too. I guess we can leave a little bit of ice because Mars does have ice on it. So we're draining all of this. It's kind of cool to see what's under the water. Like, it does have actual depth to it. 
drain all the water. Yeah, so it's a little too big. How do we get rid of you? Make you smaller. Throw. Let's throw something at it to try to get a chunk off of it. Because if we throw something like this, I'm hoping that it doesn't make it bigger and it... Okay, that totally just made it bigger. 10 times fast, 100 times faster than you were going. Okay, we're gonna go real time. You're going the wrong way, sir. Okay, we need you to go into Mars. So if that, it's, it's line, it's following that line. So we want that line to barely skim. Why is the line, okay. To barely hit Mars like this, okay. Take off a chunk of it. Don't like turn it into a star because that's what it looks like you were doing. Maybe, okay, let's, we'll see what happens after that. Oh, we killed it. It spun so fast that it just ripped apart. Oh my goodness. Okay, well here we're back for attempt two on Mars. This one doesn't have water, so we're gonna we're gonna start with that. Um, how's our mass on it? Oh, it's way too big. What if we just laser it? Okay, what color is the most powerful? I'm pretty sure the darker you go, but I want it to be purple. Whoa. Okay, oh no, we killed it again. How am I so good at killing planets? Wait, look, it's like a ghost planet. You can still kind of see it. Okay, attempt three. This one's already 44% the mass of Earth. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not very good at removing mass from planets I have found. Mars is red. Everyone knows this. It's more like orange, I would say. Like, like, like rusty orange. Something like that. And then I know Mars has polar ice caps, so we're gonna add those. Look at that. Beautiful. That looks just like Mars. And we don't even have to worry about life because Mars doesn't have life. I mean, that maybe it does oh wait mars has a little atmosphere so we're adding a little atmosphere to it there you go and it has like a reddish atmosphere so we're gonna make that red too there we go okay so now we have mars 2.0 that actually looks a lot like mars i'm actually proud of that one okay let's do venus venus is going to be inside earth and this one's really hot so let's make sure we can get it really hot we're gonna just start with random rocky oh that kind of looks like venus already I feel like we could definitely keep some of the stuff on here. Mass is too big. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it smaller. It will have a double, double Earth Venus. It's twice as big. I kind of like this color. I'm going to keep it, even though it's not traditionally what Venus has. We're going to add an atmosphere now. One Earth is not enough. Bigger. Yes. So we can't really see anything. And then we're going to change the atmosphere color to be kind of like that. It's almost more cloudy than that, like that. I feel like that looks really close to it. That's beautiful. Okay, now we just need to make sure this gets really hot somehow. If we set our average temperature to, what, 400 Celsius, it's gonna cool down over time, right? Yeah, so let's add more atmosphere layers, I think. Atmosphere layers, 157, take that. No more. 314, see if that works. Yeah, that makes it heat up. Will it go hotter? Yeah, it will go even hotter than 400 Celsius or 756 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're gonna burn on this planet. I mean, that's what Venus is known for though, so that is perfect. Okay, and we got Venus, Earth, Mars, and let's do Mercury. Okay, I'm actually gonna do random moon because Mercury is so small that it could be a moon. That looks like it's gonna work for Mercury. Visuals, gray. Mercury's very gray. It needs more craters than that. Let's switch the elevation map. Uh-oh, it's heating up. I think I put it too close. Oh, perfect, that one's perfect. Is that too close? I don't know, I, I guess it is. Move it out. Okay, move it further away so it doesn't just burn up and die. And we're gonna name it Mercury 2.0. So we got a, a good start to our solar system here. There will be a part two to this video. Do not even worry. We are going to finish the entire solar system. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.